I think people engage at the local level. That I think is important. People need to understand that this is important to them in their daily lives at the local level and that is where they should get most engaged. And I personally believe that if we believe in a system of human rights and in, in, in a catalogue of rights that are um, given to us inalienable and indivisible as, as to all human beings, then what we need to do is to interpret those rights against the background of technological innovation. So we do not necessarily have to invent new rights all the time, but we have to just interpret the rights in a context-specific way. And I think that our judiciary is quite able to do that. Uh, I think that we have seen how courts across the globe have risen to the challenge and have taken into account new developments in the interpretation of uh, written law. And that is really what we need to do. So we may now have um, a gap, so to speak, in terms of um, trivial seeming infractions of human rights on a massive scale. So it's not you are, not only you are suffer a human rights violation in a tangible way, and therefore go to to um, to law enforcement authorities and try to bring that uh, up to to uh, uh, judiciary, but all of us at massive scale could just be trivially, very minorly impacted, but this at a collective level has a major impact on how we function as a society and I think this is an issue that may not necessarily be appreciated in the current human rights system. So that is maybe something that we need to look at.